Just a disclaimer before we actually get this video started. So, uh, if you want an exciting video, go watch uh, Luke's Tuesday video or Luke's next Tuesday video if that's out because this video is boring. My next Thursday video, a lot better, but this is an important video. So, um, if you want to learn the, if you want to learn the message of this video, it's, it's good. Trust. Trust the process. Get gooder a watching videos. Cogito ergo sum, which means I think therefore I am. This whiteboard, like many other parts of my room and overall life, was put in its specific spot to help with something. A very big thing that I struggle with is organization. And so I got this so that I can write things like assignment due dates and stuff to keep in mind, etc. just in a place where I could see it. So I'm always at my desk either gaming or editing. So it's always there. Something that I struggle a lot with when it comes to video organization is just procrastination. And just recently I got a very big lesson in why you should not procrastinate and why you just need to get stuff done. So Jack just got all of his stuff stolen. So yeah, so um, Ian drove us all to lunch, not Luke, because Luke was at Sustainability Club and Luke has his own car. But it was Aaron, Derek, Maddox, and me, and then Ian. And while we were eating here at Noodles, uh, apparently someone broke into Ian's car and robbed us. Um, you know, we found a screwdriver in there, the, all the, the stuff under the wheel was all taken apart and so the car won't start and all of our school stuff is gone and some money, some wallets, some key, car keys, stuff like that are gone, so. I just got a question and I don't understand it is why do people steal? And the reason that this story ties in with procrastination is everyone lost something you know, Ian had to spend money to get his car fixed and lost his silver medal from Mexico. Aaron lost his car keys and had to spend the money to get those fixed. Derek lost wallet and, you know, money. I, we all lost money and IDs, basically. But I don't, for me, I don't really care about any of that stuff. I think I had like $25 in my bag. For me, the thing that sucks the most is the hard drive that I had. See, I was about three days, I believe, away from emptying that hard drive onto my raid. And I had done, I was supposed to do it the week before, but I did not um, because I figured I could do it in a week. And the downside to that was there's so many videos that are now just gone. Videos like my whole family's Christmas was on that hard drive. My trip to Las Vegas over Christmas break was on that hard drive me seeing one of my best friends in Las Vegas on that hard drive. Stuff that's irreplaceable, I lost. You know, money I can get back, IDs I can get back, notebooks I can get back. The notes suck, but I can always get those back. But video like that, I just can never, ever, ever get back. And the only thing I am grateful about is that the camera that I'm filming this on, it was not taken. Because if it had been taken, that would have been the worst. <laughs> there is TJ. So TJ is kind of tucked back in this like little neighborhood, but essentially running alongside it is Hampton, Hampton, something, something like that. Hampton. Noodles. That didn't really fit. So we were barely away from the school. We parked probably like right here, but we parked pretty far away. So we didn't have direct eyesight on the car. We were probably gone for like 12 minutes maximum. In 12 minutes, they were able to bike pass a car lock, steal the starter out of the car, steal all of our backpacks, 
and we didn't notice anything till we got back and nobody saw anything. We asked in the front office or in the leasing office if they had found anything and they said no. You know, rule of thumb, don't procrastinate because if you do, you might never be able to fix it. Thank <laughs> you.